A year ago, me and my two partners set on a journey to create a new product that we'd hope would change every freelancer's life. Obviously, we did not know it's going to take us a year. Leo, how do you feel about the next three months? Exciting. <laughs> I'm tired just looking at the gun. Ayal, what are your thoughts? I think it's possible. <laughs> Ayal just lied because he thinks we're not going to be able to make it in three months, but he just said it to be nice to the vlog, but he doesn't know that it's actually really going to happen. And he's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but wait, before we go into that, let me give you a little bit of context about who we are. Hey guys! I'm Lior. I'm Ron. And I'm Ayal. And we are The New School. Three years ago, we started The New School because we felt like there was nobody teaching freelancers about the business side of being a freelancer. So we started doing events and workshops and eventually put up an online class about teaching freelancers about the business aspect. But around one year ago, we decided that doing The New School wasn't really working for us. And there were a few reasons for that. The first one was that we actually, as a team, wanted to create some tech product. That's what we're really passionate about creating, and we didn't want to spend our time just teaching people. The second thing that we got from learning from our customers is that most people, most freelance or creative freelancers, don't really want to learn. They want just to have a tool that will help them to do their, you know, busy work faster. And after discussing it a lot with them, we've came to the conclusion that there was a key tool that's missing, and that's a tool for creating proposals. So after deciding that this is the problem that we want to solve, we spend a lot of time doing customer interviews to actually validate that this is a real problem that freelancers have, and that we're going to build something that is going to be meaningful to them. Our first version trying to solve this problem was by designing a UI of a chatbot because our assumption was that people would rather have a conversation rather than learning a new tool. The feedback that we got from people and also I got the feeling was that although it's nice, it actually takes too long to get to the point where you see your proposal and kind of that get to that magic moment where you realize the value of using this tool. So I thought about it a little bit and now I'm going to try to design it kind of only in one page so that very quickly you can see the results and see your proposal and then you can adjust it and refine it later on. My favorite at the moment is actually um, from the concept of magic because I wanted the tool to be like it's create the, a proposal magical. It's Prospero, which is actually um, it's a wizard from uh, a play by Shakespeare, The Tempted. I actually didn't know this, but uh, it came up when I wrote in Google list of wizards, and then I got a huge list of wizards. Some of them I knew, some of them I didn't. This one I didn't know, but it, I like the name because Prospero, it actually sounds like Prosperos. It kind of a bit sounds like proposal. It's got the same uh, letters, so I think I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> So I've been debating those two ideas and I think I'm gonna go with this one since it looks more, I would say, trustworthy. Today I'm gonna take the design and put it in Webflow to actually, uh, you know, code the whole front end without using code so that IL our developer will have a much easier life. So 
So I've been playing with the Prospera tool now and kind of realized that I didn't do a very good design. When I actually tried to use it, it's actually not not that of a good design. I mean, I didn't do a really good uh, use of the screen space and I'm not going to redesign everything right now because we are so close to, you know, releasing the beta. So this is really tough, but probably we're going to you know, beta test it like this and if we saw, see that really the, the value in the product is there then I'm probably going to do a whole redesign of the interface because I don't think that it's very good right now. I ain't got time to discuss the weather how long it's gonna last. Yesterday at the new school meeting we have decided that uh, Prospero is ready for beta and I've just emailed a bunch of beta testers, Lior, my partner, emailed another bunch and we're gonna start doing the beta testing in the upcoming days. It's very exciting to see how people react to your product for the first time. Uh, you discover both good things and bad things. Stay true to the game and never bring it to shame. We tight like dreadlocks or red fox and ripple. We pass part of symbols and smash the artist in you. The saga continues. This I won't get it. This doc where I've kind of listed all the problems, current problems and suggestions in the product. As you can see, there's a lot of them. I know that some things currently suck and I wish I could fix everything right now, but that would probably take like three, four months of work fixing everything. We don't think that the product is good enough right now. So we're kind of thinking about how to work with the beta team right now to make the product better. Uh, even if that means we're gonna have to postpone the lunch a little bit. We're now working on the new version of Prospero, which this is the design for the new proposal. And I kind of did something because I wanted to be really simple that when you click on it, you can edit the, the text here. I thought this would be the most simple way to do that. But Ayal has discovered a new technology um, that's called React by Facebook uh, that actually allows you to kind of do that, edit it in line, and actually also uh, change the overlay color here of, on the image or just click on the th stuff to edit the logo or, or the background image. So he did it much cooler than, uh, than I was planning to do. And another super cool thing that happened last night while we were sleeping here in Israel, somebody has used Prospero to create a proposal for $30,000. Um, it's actually a print project and send it to the client using Prospero and the client has approved it. Now it's been in beta for a while, we've been talking to customers, getting feedback, and trying to uh, develop the features that will bring most value to our customers. I don't really know what to tell you. It's like, it's really a roller coaster. Some days I feel like, yeah, this, this has so much potential and we're gonna change the world and we're helping so much people and it's gonna make so much money. And I'm like, so excited. And other days I'm like, what the hell? This is just not good enough and it's not gonna work. And why am I wasting time on this? It's, it's really like an emotional roller coaster. So over the past few months, we've been updating and updating the beta version based on the feedback that we get from our beta testers group. And actually, the beta testers group has become quite big and quite diverse. We have freelancers from all around the world using Prospero without us even talking about this at all. So over the last few weeks, we really feel like the product is good enough. We see people sending real proposals for real money, getting signed by real clients. So we feel like 
Now is the time to share Prospero with the whole world and make it officially public version one. So tomorrow, February 7th, it's going to be the official lunch date of Prospero. We're gonna have a live event here on YouTube with awesome content. I will be covering the design in depth. I will cover the development. Lior will talk about how to create great proposals. Check out the link for more details about this awesome event. We hope to see you there with us. Have a super day.